The rising up of three types of revivalists, Nate Johnston, Gold Coast, Australia recently while in worship, the Holy Spirit began to speak to me. He said, I am doing a new thing, do you see it? I am doing something brand new, something unheard of. Even now it sprouts and grows and matures. Do you see it? Just as it says in Isaiah chapter 43 verse 19? Then he said it again, Nate, I am doing a new thing, do you see it? And I replied, yes, Lord, I see it. Then he said, Nate, I am doing a new thing, do you see them? Then my spirit was quickened to the next chapter of Isaiah where it says, I will pour refreshing water on the thirsty and streams on the dry ground. I will pour out my spirit on your children, my blessing upon your descendants. They will spring up like grass blanketing a meadow, like poplars growing by gushing streams. Isaiah chapter 44 verses 3 to 4 TPT. Then I understood what he was saying. Not only are we in a new era, where God is doing a new thing, but we are the new thing. Wow. So, I feel to prophesy this over you and share what I believe God is wanting to do through you in this special time we are living in. Fresh outpouring to unlock and activate what has been hidden and reserved. As Isaiah chapter 44 says, it is the outpouring that causes people to spring up and emerge, and right now there is a fresh outpouring of the Holy Spirit that is healing hearts, refreshing hearts, and igniting the new that has been lying dormant and hidden, up until now. Just like with Jesus at the Cana wedding, God has hidden the best wine to come forth from you now, your greatest season of impact is now. This will be the season that you say, I did not even know that was in me. The fresh touch of the Spirit upon your life is causing that which has been unseen to be seen, and that which has not been ready to suddenly be ripe. The Lord says to you today, now you are ripe, now you are ready. Do you see it? Do you believe it? Can you see what is springing up out of the chaos? I heard the Lord say, the increase you asked for is here. Can you see it yet? The new thing you wanted, can you see it? Because I am shifting and moving every area of your life to accommodate the magnitude of it. I am enlarging your capacity to carry it, steward it, and run with it. I am challenging complacency and defeat so you can fully embrace it, and I am overturning the enemy's plans to keep you stagnant when you ask to thrive. But can you see it? Right now, I feel like God is giving you eyes to see what he is doing in your life, so you can diagnose your surroundings and circumstances correctly. Look beyond the rawness where your heart is trying to play catch up to all the moving pieces. Look beyond the extreme discomfort, the loss and sudden closure of relationships, and the past season, and you'll begin to see new life blossoming forth. Photo via Unsplash. Carriers of completely new reformational blueprints. Do you realize what God is preparing you for right now? Do you realize that you have been prepared and groomed for right now? As I was writing everything down that God was speaking to me, I saw a vision of tens of thousands of envelopes coming out of heaven. As they hit the ground, they cracked it open and sent shock waves through the earth. These envelopes were not just the new orders, assignments and missions being delivered to you right now, but I knew that they contained groundbreaking revelation, language and expressions that are going to reform, shift, reshape and change the landscape of the kingdom as we know it. I believe I saw them as envelopes because they are invitations to those hungry enough to allow God to dramatically interrupt their plans and usher in the new. The new is exciting and full of wonder, but it is extremely inconvenient if you want to stay comfortable and not have to adjust every part of your life to it. Will we be offended when it comes or will we choose to be the variable that bends to it? The emergence of trendsetters, mold breakers and establishers of new norms. I heard the Lord say that we are about to see a rising or springing up of three types of revivalists, trendsetters, mold breakers and establishers of new norms, and they will set the tempo, flow and direction for the years to come. Trendsetters are those who introduce new trends, ideas or change the way, method that something is done. They are the beginning of the bridge from the old to the new and normally highlight the fresh way God is moving, demonstrate it and have fruit to show for it. A mold breaker is a person who is boldly original or who pioneers something that is the first of its kind, which moves completely outside of the sphere we are used to, but that God uses in a powerful way. Mold breakers cause us to enlarge our understanding of how God is moving and confront our own limits, ceilings and religious parameters to accommodate God's movement. Establishers of new norms are those who replace the expected, usual and typical state after a new trend, way is formed or something new is birthed. They have the ability to practically implement new strategies and ideas to build upon what has been before it. They are those who help guide and lead the church into the new thing so that it is embraced and not rejected. Do you relate to any of these? 
what are some of the reformational, new, unheard of and unusual movements and ministries that God is releasing through you in this season. We are entering a time of revival redefined. Then the Lord showed me that we are in a time where these carriers of the new were going to usher in revival and redefine it where it has been given a bad name, abused, opposed and thwarted. I also saw that the flame of revival was multiplying and being sent into every sphere in the earth, carried by this generation of unusual exploits. We will still see revival in stadiums and churches, but I saw revival fires being lit in homes all around the world, where genuine revival was being birthed in the middle of families sitting around the dinner table, and transforming streets and suburbs. Photo via Unsplash. I saw revival fires being sent into political arenas and it was shifting and overturning the seats of power in counties, regions and states, simply by these carriers choosing to go where they were called. I saw universities suddenly experiencing the weighty glory of God and fire that was causing people to speak in tongues and prophesy. The spirit of truth was moving in power and removing the veils off a generation that has been hidden and captive in the dark, and in a moment, commissioning them to carry the new wine. It will be that sudden. I see key players that God is raising up to display His glory in the earth that will have the ear of kings and the keys to unlock cities to their rich heritage. The fire is being lit upon hearts, even right now, and lives are being marked for His glory. The new standard is being released. There is no going back. As I'm writing this, I am seeing revival fires engulfing families, marriages and children, as God is drawing a line in the sand where the enemy has waged war against your home, your destiny and your inheritance to prevent you from entering into your greatest season. But it will not prosper, and even now God is overturning every attack and robbery that has come against you. Even for those who have said, what do I have left? I am empty. There is now a fresh infilling, and your empty will suddenly turn into overflow, your end of the road is actually your new start, and your done and dusted is your breaking out of the rut and into fresh hope and a new day of wonder. The question we need to ask ourselves and the question the church needs to ask itself is, will we yield to the move of the Spirit? Will we move with Him? Will we move out the way and stop resisting Him? Will we lay down our plans for His? Will we say yes to the new when it comes, no matter what it looks like? Will we pick up our torches again? Will we choose comfort or the Great Commission? Will we choose what we can control or that which cannot be tamed, only surrendered to? Will we say yes even when we do not know the full picture of what is ahead? I pray that the response of our hearts in this time would be wholehearted, yes. Asterisk please don't miss our emerging and newly found prophets. Subscribe here. Nate Johnston Everyday Revivalists Email, everydayrevivalists at gmail.com Website, nateandchristy.co Nate Johnston is a revivalist and worshipper who has a heart to see sons and daughters unleashed into passionate friendship with God and an effective supernatural lifestyle. Through his ministry, Everyday Revivalists, he teaches on intimacy and hearing God's voice which was birthed from a hunger for authentic, real, and powerful relationship with Jesus. Nate and Christy have two daughters, Charlotte and Sophie, and currently live on the Gold Coast in Australia. To receive more words like this in your inbox, subscribe free to the Elijah List at this link https colon slash slash elijahlist.com slash subscribe.